To some, they're only used to catch bigger fish. But as Ike Ben David found out in this week's Wildlife Watch, minnows are a key part of our waterways. Under Interstate 89 in Waterbury flows the Graves Brook. These babbling waters in an urban setting are filled with fish. When most people go to look at a stream, you know, especially in like a more urban setting, when you look down, generally what you're looking at is a minnow. Aquatic habitat biologist Will Eldridge believes in the big impact of these small fish. With 24 different types of minnows just in Vermont, surviving in many different waterways. So most people, when they think about minnows, they just think small fish. But actually, minnows are their own type of fish. Many anglers use minnows as bait fish, making them a key part of the natural ecosystem. And so they're actually part of that food web. And then other animals eat the minnows. Um, so in the, in the rivers, we have trout and uh, larger fish, bass, uh, panfish, things like that, that'll eat minnows. And as a resource for scientists, they're a good indicator of water quality. Some species really cannot tolerate any silt or disturbance, things like that. Um, and so they, uh, we use them for that reason as well. So what happens upstream is just as important as what happens here kind of in this, in this uh, stretch of the stream. Eldridge's field work in the past helped dig up more information about these small creatures. So I did a, a study a couple of years ago where I actually marked a bunch of fish. I kind of tattooed them um, and I was able to identify individuals and then I went back every couple months for a year to, to recapture and to see it, to learn about their behavior. He learned that different species of minnows have different behavior. And that's interesting because it means for the black nose dace, so what's important for it is that, that local habitat. So having those pools and riffles and the wood and, and stuff like that, that kind of, that habitat scale, but also what happens upstream. So the water quality coming to it is really important. So the long nose dace, so the one that moves a lot, in, in theory at least, it could seek out its preferred habitat. Um, you know, it can, it can find areas that, you know, meet its needs. And despite their size, they can make it through some of the high flowing waters, surviving floods like we've seen the past two years. So what they do is they will hunker down behind a rock or a log or something like that. So they'll find kind of like what we call refuge from high flows, from floods. Eldridge says, if you're interested, next time you're near water, just look down. Minnows in general are less afraid of people than trout. Trout are skittish, like you, you, you have to sneak up on trout. In Waterbury, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.